So we stated earlier on that we're having a conversation uh, with regards to the African Climate Change Summit that is happening for the first time in Nairobi, Kenya. And we are being joined by Zoom, um, Joyce Nyame. Um, if you can hear me, good morning, Joyce. Joyce, can you unmute yourself? Hi, good morning, everyone. Good how, morning. how are you? Uh, I'm good. Okay. Okay, all the way from Nairobi, Kenya, um, the African yeah. Change Climate, the Climate Change Summit is happening. And can you briefly tell us some of the highlights of the events? Okay, thank you very much. And uh, a very warm good morning from Nairobi. Uh, so uh, one of the major highlights from the Climate Summit uh, has been how uh, as Africans, we can have finance to um, finance some of the climate mitigation and adaptation uh, interventions that we have in Africa. And then, um, as the doctor had rightly said, there is a need for us to tackle migraine from the left. So, for us as UB Foundation, it's important that we tackle some of these climate concerns from the grassroots. And then we said um, it's important that Africa has given the space to discuss and also crowd their own narratives when it comes to the climate uh, canker and also seek partnership in trying to solve the canker. So that has been for us uh, one of the major highlights from the summit. Okay. All right. Uh, this one here, uh, Joyce, I, I want to know, tell us the message that you are trying to push as well for the youth in Africa to help with climate change. Okay. So um, I would answer that and then I would like to uh, bring on board the Cinder. So one of the messages that we the foundation, we are um, mobilizing young people across Africa to send across the African states is the fact that there is a need to have um, inclusive and responsive youth-centered uh, development with advances when it comes to the climate tanker. So uh, I will bring on board the Cinder, a young person from Bokrom in the Eastern region, where the UK Foundation had initiated this um, restoration project. So uh, the message uh, is that young people can, and we are also climate champions. So if you wouldn't mind, I would like Lucinda to tell us the message that we have been uh, shouting and also uh, letting everyone know when it comes to the climate agenda. So Lucinda, Lucinda is on. If Lucinda can come up. Yeah. Hello, Lucina. Hello. Lucinda. We, we wanted to find out from Lucinda uh, what um, message she's been saying and how excited uh, she's been uh, attending this whole summit. Okay, so... Um, Maybe I will just walk towards the team that she is on the other part of where I am, uh, just to help with her technical talent so she can speak. Um. Lucinda is on now. Okay. okay. Joyce. Yep. Okay, is she on Hello? now? Yes, Lucinda is on. Or maybe I can just give her my... Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe some other time we'll, we'll, we'll come back and have the... Okay, Lucinda. Hi, Lucinda. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Um, briefly share your experience and the uh, highlights of this um, summit you've been experiencing in Nairobi, Kenya, to us. Okay, so... Um, one major highlight on African summit was when the president availed himself I don't know when we given out the document from Climate Summit. 
also find African leaders, find African leaders contribute or tell us what they will do to contribute in the renewable sector. And also, what I've been experiencing, sharing my thoughts or ideas with their power project on how a mobile app is used to collect and okay. re record data of plants. Okay. Great, Lucida. Um, I could see that you've learned a lot from this summit, and uh, we wish you the very best in there. When you come to Ghana, of course, you can always come through. So, uh, you heard from Lucinda, and of course, Joyce Nyame, who's the program's uh, director, Youth Bridge Foundation, all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, they're at the Africa Climate Change Summit there. All right.